Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, Chris P. 44S, a channel where I play games. And I kind of want to start a new series um, of like throwback games or older games. And as this isn't really an older game, so this just got released like a week ago in the final version, but it came on early access like two years ago. So, but I never played it before. And so I was thinking, well, this is like kind of a new game, but it's also a throwback. But I want to start doing like throwback, like roguelike, permadeath, dungeon crawler games. So if anybody has any suggestions of, of games that I should check out that like kind of fit that. Like I'm really into fantasy, um, like some sci-fi. But the big thing is I really like the roguelike or roguelike games. I like permadeath. Um, I do like like tactics, isometric games, stuff like that. Um, some arena shooters, some RPG shooters, stuff like that. If anybody has any throwback games that I should play or games that are coming out that I should play, um, yeah, just throw it down in the comment section. Also, please try not to spoil any games. If I'm doing it and I never played it, that would be great. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be playing Gordian Quest. And I seen somebody play this game the other day and I thought, oh, this looks really cool. It kind of looks like Slay the Spire but with multiple characters, so... With that being said, um, I did just pop into options before I started the video, and um, I, basically all I changed was I made it full screen, um, the frame rate 60, um, I didn't turn any of this on, the audio I just left uh, because I have it leveled in OBS, Hopefully. and screen shaking combat, I might turn this off because sometimes it's super annoying. Uh, this is kind of like a, <clears throat> an interesting screen with some, with some interesting things. Um, double click card to play on self. It's kind of good to know. Turbo mode. I'm sure that's kind of like fast. Just so you play really fast. Oh, but maybe not. Maybe it's different. Maybe it takes out some of the animations or something. Like action animation. Uh, highlights. Unit on turn start. Um, can't resume on kill. Use spacebar to end turn. Automatically chain cards when possible. Prompt if ending turn with AP remaining. Mm, sure. All right, but let's play the game. So, I did see. I did see realm mode was kind of like roguelite mode. I think campaign is just story, where you just keep going if you fail. But I want to try this um, realm mode. I also don't know what skirmish is. Maybe I should just do a skirmish. Be nice if it kind of told you what it was. That's just a 1v1. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Let me go back. <laughs> okay, so it does tell you. Just click on it. A quick and frantic mode that pits you against increasing unfavorable odds to see how far you can go. Play through the axe, a long epic experience that spans across multiple continents. Um. Yeah, so I'm just going to do this realm mode, a quick and frantic mode that pits you against increasing your favorite odds. See how far you can go. Okay, so then, solo take on the realms alone. That's kind of cool. So do I just have everybody unlocked? It seems that way. So Lucius... I so there's a little complexity thing. So before I get into anything, like I might just... So let's just look. Lucius, sword hand, one star. I'm not going to read everybody's thing. Looks like a sword fighter. Cleric. Ranger. Alphonse, the scoundrel. I kind of like that. It says he's an assassin, spellbinder. So then these are really super complex. Idia. Idia. Druid. Um, the Bard, Warlock, <coughs> Golem Mancer. It's kind of cool. Yeah, some interesting classes for sure. I like a low key want to play with one of these harder people, but I'm, I think for three, three. I kind of want to just play with the scoundrel. Like he seems kind of, he seems like he'd be pretty good. Um, he's also an assassin. Oh, but I get to pick three too. I honestly might just play solo just to see 
like what the deal is but maybe that's like too hard all right so since I'm picking I'm gonna pick Lucius uh, I'm gonna pick the druid and I almost want the warlock <clears throat> I feel like the monk might be able to heal though I kind of want the warlock though, because he just looks badass. And he also looks like some other creature type. It says Kudo hails from one of the many splinter tribes that lives on the in the Azul Desert. To survive harsh conditions, his kind has learned to manipulate their own blood as a weapon. All right, <clears throat> definitely gonna take that. So the one thing I had this starter deck. Ooh. Um, and do I want to get into this, or should I just pick? Triggers when an ally in a row attacks. <laughs> like, this has a better guard, though. But I guess it's not shift 1, then attack 12. That seems good. These cards seem a lot better. Let me just go back. I'm just gonna go with the standard start and just play. This is slightly more challenging adventure that is forgiving to the occasional mistake. Baseline health and damage. 50 for 50 percent chance for elite enemies to have special treats. Okay. <clears throat> Shaped refuge. Entering the Maelstrom Gate. So am I picking one of these? Okay. <laughs> I didn't. To help you master the base, you your first battle will be a quick tutorial. During this sequence, only your first hero will be used. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I thought this game just looked really, really neat. It looks pretty deep. It looks pretty deep. I also don't know what I clicked, what kind of relic I clicked on there, but I was thinking like. I thought I would like click it and then it would just hi be highlighted. I didn't think I would click it and it would just it would just go. All right, battle commences. Okay. Perform an attack by picking a card. Then pick a target. Okay. Now do the same with a card, but play it on yourself. So it said I can double click. Okay. Let me just see if that's the screen shake. Um, every skill has a cost AP. I think this is my AP. Then I can hit space bar to enter. Bite. Five damage. Bite. Five damage. So they attack in rows. So it kind of reminds me of Banner Saga as well, which is like a pretty neat game. So he's just attacking on his own. Officer Irwin has a drawn a trigger card. Hover over the icon of him to preview it. When an ally in the row attacks, follow up. Attacked while standing beside him. So I can just move without playing a card. Shift, move a target into an adjacent cell. Automatically appears in hand when you have sufficient SP to play it. So SP, I'm assuming, is this one down here in the left corner. That seems like a waste. All right, let me, can I attack again? Okay. I was like, can I attack again? And, uh, automatically appears. Let's just end my turn. Don't think me and my guy are dying here, so it should be fine. So we'll see if it's the same as Banner Saga, where, like, people in the front row get attacked first. Shift target. Add vulnerability. 
I like how we can kick them vulnerable. We'll take four. So it does have tool tips for the things. <clears throat> um, we'll take four more damage on next hit. That's actually pretty decent. <clears throat> Gain one might, grant one might to adjacent allies. What is might? Deals 30% more damage to the next hit. I just kind of want to see like how some of this stuff works. Okay. I wanted to see how much bleed did. But we got some XP there. We got some gold and renown. Renown could be traded for artifacts, maps, and for access to the Maelstrom Gate in Act 4. Okay. I'm no stranger to long periods of in the wild. My time. My time has taught me plenty. Okay, so we got like everything going on here. Um, we got all the equipment here. We got accessories here. Resources synergy. Uh, battles, camping, and events can raise synergy. A higher synergy value grants access to more unique tactical cards. Wow, this game seems pretty legit. Uh, you should see the last game I spent $15 on. Boo. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Can I just move around? Yeah. I can scroll out with the mouse wheel. What's at the bottom? Just a dragon. Realm boss. Okay. Alright, so... It's probably, like, a better route to choose, but I don't know. A shrine to power... A shrine to power is long departed. Use a rest used to restore one fate and permanently modify the world around you. Okay. Mm, event. Make your choice and roll with the odds. Your actions may permanently affect nearby nodes. That's kind of cool how, like, a lot of the things you do seem to change the, uh, and board, like the board, I guess. Chart a path to this area. Sharp eyes and shrewd minds will prevail. Deadly encounter parties side of the field is trapped. What does that mean? Consume one supplies, have 20. Oh, so supplies is probably my movement. Area it, here is mysterious. Sandstorm travel here. I mean, I'm probably just gonna go. I hear the call of blood. Um. Okay. So we, when we're exploring, we're like we have a map here. It seems like lose ten percent of your max HP reveals a random node moves randomly if not interacted with. Oh, so it's asking me to place this. Pressure plate. Chest open together. Okay. Oh, so I can just travel. Silver bracelets gain quick draw. Plus one strength has two sockets. Quarter staff. Common staff 200 requires 11 something. Has two sockets. Supplies. Now, should I? Like, I kind of want to. So, can I just not move that far? <laughs> okay. I feel like I have messed that up. So, he can use the quarter staff requires. What is that? What is that? A blue? Oh, it's intelligence. Okay. Two to spell damage. What was the other thing we got? Bracers? Like, what is quick draw? Grants one quick draw. Gain 15. Oh, quick draw is the card. Dirt. <laughs> 
Gain 15 critical, draw one. That seems good. I definitely like that there's equipment. Deadly encounter. Area grants HP on clear. Okay. That's pretty neat though. I definitely like this board. For sure. Battle because we're fighting one bandit. So do I Do I have to go in order? I think so. So there's definitely some speed probably that what that has to do with the dexterity that it definitely didn't look at. If I look at my <clears throat> Affects your damage when using green cards and performance and challenges. Every two points above. Plus one initiative. So, initiative. <coughs> I'm just going to take a wild guess here. <coughs> knock back one. Knock back one on your next attack. Apply days. Retain. Remains in hand. Okay, I wasn't even on the right character. All right, so let's try the quick draw. Not really sure what. So is this saying he's gonna target? I don't think it'll tell me what he targets. <clears throat> okay, well let's try it. Let's throw some bleed on this guy. Increases the value of Strikes, damage received, caps at 25% of units of max health, heals will remove an equivalent value. Alright, get kicked, brah. Wind gust. <clears throat> Swipe. Ancestors guide me. Okay. Uh, we got Renown, <clears throat> and we got a Cloak. We need 10 Strength and 10 Intelligence. Guard, plus 2 Guard with Strength, Defense Skills, plus 2 Guard with Intelligence. Skills. Okay. Yeah, I definitely like that. That seems, seems very Slay the spire how there's like the different colored cards that correlate with Strength, Dex, and Intelligence. Reminds me of Slay the spire. You've gained a Skill Point from leveling up. Spend it on your skill grid by clicking on the icon beside the hero's portrait. You can also access from the skill page. Add one stat. Increase your strength, intelligence, and dexterity. So this is health, skill. Oops. Go back. Are these my like leadership cards or something? So many cards. All right, we're just going to lock. <clears throat> I mean, we're just going to go with strength, I guess. I'm pretty sure. I mean, she has a lot too. Three bonus. Do these other people have this too? And was I just not paying attention? Yeah, we're just gonna go with intelligence here. All my characters actually seem pretty strong. I'm just like looking at these and I'm like, do I have all these cards in my deck? Go to view additional info. All right, so do I want to go to an encounter with a Wendigo and a Spiderling or an adventure? Let's go to the encounter. Well, what's this? A gateway line to travel any node one tier ahead. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I could like jump paths.
I'm tempted to, <laughs> to do this just to get the supplies. Oh, but there's supplies like everywhere. Alright, let's go to the encounter. Like, I feel like it might be better to take fights so then you can level up. Oh, I did get that robe on the way too. Um, Hurl Javelin. I almost think I want to shift. So then I can... So I can only swipe the front line. I like this girl because she has a lot of bleed. Why don't I just... I'm just going to swipe everything and make everything bleed. Hmm... So that's doing 15. I mean, I definitely might as well just kill something. And then I guess I'm just gonna block. I don't know where people are attacking. So this spider can only dodge. And this Wendigo can only strike. And he's probably gonna strike there. So I actually might want to shift at the end of my turn. <clears throat> Deal 10 frost, chill. Damage to three random targets. Now, my question is do I get spell points every round? Remove status. That's pretty nice. Oh, that's my phone. That's my alarm. It's time to wake up. Um, sorry about that. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna hit him with this blood shot because it seems really strong. Okay. <clears throat> nice. This game seems pretty easy. I almost want to jump back over here. Oh, I can't look ahead. Yeah, we'll just go take fights and just see what goes on. Show of force. I think we get I think we get it back every time. Yeah, I, I was trying to boost up to see if I could uh, just kill somebody in one shot. Like a mouse. So this guy's going to block, follow through. <clears throat> so he can hit. He can hit. So we should try to kill this guy. Where am I? End my turn. <clears throat> Convert bleed to burn. Oh, I'm missing an SP. So I must, I must, when I... When I use SP. Well, I definitely do lose it. Probably until I rest or something. Convert bleed to burn. Apply a burn. Alright. I'm pretty sure this guy's dead. On start, trigger, store, damage. Adjacent units take half damage. That's nice. I mean, I'm just gonna block, I guess. Forceful swipe. She should be stronger. She should have the critical thing, too. So I can probably. I wonder if they do more damage if they're, like, right out front. But this guy's better. Than that. I like the animations and stuff that they have for attacking. That's probably... I wonder if Turbo Mode takes that away. What is this? Battle, camping, and events can raise synergy. Some more unique cards. Carrying Elixir. When used, remove all negative status. Okay. Um, I 
Into the void. Main quest. Venture into the depths. The more realms you go, the bigger your reward. Okay. I wonder if that's like some type of meta progression or something. What does this do? Draw one, retain three. Retain an additional card. Hey man. I'm just gonna give it to him. I feel like yeah, his intelligence is a lot higher. So, like, the druid is strength dex base. And the warlock seems to be not. Hard encounter. Six enemies over two waves. Plus one ranked enemy skills. Yeah, let's go. My falcon leads the way. Okay, so these guys are doing big damage. Continuous blade, big shield. Ah, oh, I hate thorns. Uh, so should we just try to kill this guy right away? Probably. Okay, so she's first. I definitely wanted to bring forward. I mean, I don't even think I'm going to be targeted with this girl, but... Whatever. I guess I'll just shift, and then block some more. And then potentially she'll be... Dang, I didn't really... I really didn't want to... Kick that guy back. I guess I wasn't paying attention. I thought I could kind of just move him wherever. Shift target. Can't shift him. Guess I'll just shift this guy, but now I can kill him in two hits. And guess what? Guarding? Hemophilia. Apply five bleed, deal four damage twice. Like that. I guess we're just gonna make this guy burn. What? This guy has eighty two HP? Putrid Serpent? Is this a Putrid Serpent as well? It's a Death Knight. Okay. Alright. What is this going to be? Frenzy. Increases initiated. Attribute in initiative and attributes. So this guy's going to get the thorns. This damage does not trigger any skills and cannot be reflected back again. Okay, so you're probably just gonna die. Does he have shield now too? Is that what that is? Yes, he does. How long do thorns last? Guard and thorns will be retained for next round. Oh my gosh. I really stepped into this time. <laughs> I should just try and kill somebody who's not like this guy. Slash this guy. <laughs> this kind of sucks. 
Ooh, but I can probably get this dude back here. It's like, am I just gonna die? This one of my characters is gonna die. So hit, his thorns are gone. I thought they were gonna be retained. Okay, so that's not that bad. So this this guy in the back has to go, for sure. Oh, but is he in the way? So if, let's let me see. Like if I move down here, does that give me access? No. Deal 22 damage to target in your lane. All right, let me shift back. Oh no, I messed up. I didn't realize that was SP. All right, let me block and block, and then maybe this guy will. So this dude's definitely blocking. I mean, I think I just honestly, I just guard up. Since they're both attacking. I mean, if somebody dies, they die, you know? But it looks like this guy can kill. So that just straight up kills you. <laughs> Kinda forgot about th thorns there, not gonna lie. <clears throat> We're just all out attacking. As of right now. Maybe because that was like a critical. I'm definitely gonna go for this mic. Ooh, I got the back line too. Nice. Yeah, so we're just gonna rend and slash. <coughs> Seems good. Pretty sure we can finish with the right cards. Oh, this is arcane spike. Oh, this ignores guard. That seems really good. Bleed your ass. Bleed. So I, I don't think I heal though. Lucius. Gains one respect. <clears throat> Renown, money. Gain a random buff every six turns. Is that permanently? I mean, I feel like I should take this. It's legendary. Rerolls the rarity of an item. It has a 1% chance to upgrade a random legendary item. Okay. Invigorating. Alright, so let's give her that. Let's see. Let's see if I get HP here. Okay. I was hoping that it would give her five more HP as well. Tier talent one socket. When unlocked, you can swap in talents while camping or in town. Okay. 
see. Oh, so do I get one talent? Plus three, physical. <clears throat> Restore four HP upon surviving a battle. Recover 15 of your percent maximum HP when you complete an event. <clears throat> I kind of like that one. <clears throat> Seems pretty basic. So basic. Oh, wait, that was this guy? Oh, I should have done that for everybody. Why does this guy have more? Personal motion, if your strength is higher than your dex, add half your strength modifier to your dex modifier. Strength is higher. Plus one, max fury? I don't know what that even means. I don't even have a two-handed weapon. Shield proficiency? I don't have any of this stuff. Hmm. I don't think any of that's unlocked for me. I'm just gonna, might go with this. plus four max HP, plus ten percent max HP. Item cards gain plus one rank applies only to blunt weapon scepters. I'm just gonna go with this raw strength. With this new technique, I'll be unstoppable. Okay, but I'm pretty sure I can heal. Actually, where's that item? Nice. Okay. Now I w now now I wish I had the cleric. Party will be afflicted with a random curse. Oh, that sounds lovely. A chance to purchase items, resources, and explore. My falcon leads the way. I just want healing stuff. Is this a healing room? Ooh, look at all these weapons. So maybe I should take a weapon. How much money do I have? Oh, I have 263. Hmm. Okay. Portal scroll. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, so we can use this to teleport back to one raid, one respec. Oh, guarantee one respec. So that's probably for respecting your skill tree. Coin. These tokens can be traded to Marco for a chance. Oh, like there's a gambling in this? Oh, it's not really gambling though. When used, grants for immunity. Attach skills, restore 2 HP on use. Ooh, that seems good. Does it, can I just, I want to buy one of these. I want to buy a sword. So this is two-handed. I'm thinking that's one. That's only $30 for the sword. Seems good. How do I use this rune? Attached skills restore to HP. How do I attach? <clears throat> hmm. Wonder if I can use this in battle? Mysteries, the great mysteries of the earth. Unstable artifact activated. Activation effect Jenda? Jendaya gains one respect point? Oh, this is renowned. I can't buy that. Oops. I meant to do this. Um, I'm actually...
like, what does she use? She probably uses like some kind of claws or something. And she could probably use a dagger, I guess, right? But what is she? Alright, so she'll get the sword. I don't see. Attached skills will not be added to your deck. So is this like just a one time use thing? Hot off the press. Yeah, I'm okay. We can leave. <clears throat> Probably should camp here. Consume one. So we can heal. Maybe there's a way to like use the rune somewhere? I'm not sure. Resting hours till daybreak. Time moves forward when all heroes are busy with an activity or when you choose to pass the hour. Pitch tent. Pitch a tent. Here increases a skill rank by one. Why is there so much to do in here? Does everybody need a tent? No. Recover 10% removes three exhaustion. I was just curious if that would. Okay, so I'm pr pretty sure. Oh, he did not need to rest in the town. So I definitely want her to go back in the tent. And then I guess What is exhaustion doing? Is it just going for an hour? That curse was bad. Hmm. Yeah, this is the one I think I want to rank up. So, we done here? <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> so we got all healed up there. That is cool that you can, I wonder if you can do it twice. I wonder if you can like rank up a card twice in there. We'll go to an explorer. Now it didn't really seem like we could move that far dispatch any remove a random monster from the area alright where I can actually move. So I can move to that. <clears throat> okay. I like these exploration. It is neat. 
boss bounty shaped refuge length 12 consumable consumable use is blocked in some encounters enemies are one level higher yeah sure bro hmm. I mean we don't even need to heal again indicates the number of exhaustion cards oh exhaustion cards are in the deck Everybody's pitching a tent. So now I want and then you two are going to stay in the tent. She has more, a lot more cards than this. Like, there's all those cards in the skills area. Um. And then he's gonna do that. He's gonna go gain skills, and then these other people are just gonna rest. I guess my guy can f forge. shouldn't have that much as I think exhaustion really only I mean I guess I really just kind of want to or I should upgrade this or maybe this or maybe this um I mean this one's free I guess I'll upgrade the rend seems good Seems like a, you know, kind of like a good card. Alright, so I have one exhaustion card on my deck for Lucius. What is this, one fate? Area affected by burning ground. Neat. Alright. I'm going to roll my dice with these two guys because fighting nine enemies seems this is probably deadly encounter yeah this is probably worse than the nine enemies tbh but I'm just going to run with it if anybody can hear that noise that's my computer <laughs> I need like a need to open it up. Something seems a little off. Alright, so let's see. What does this guy do? Deal 9 damage. Deal 9 damage. Okay, well that's not that bad. I really wish... Oh, these guys are split up too, so this person's going to go before Lucius is going to go. Is this free? Trigger a knockback on one year. Apply days to. Not sure if I just used that. Try some called triggered reality warp. Missed walk. I like this cap. 
guess I'm just guarding. I like how I have block and dodge. But I guess shields and stuff make things different. Okay. I'm just going after this wizard, I guess. I like how they're, they attack like one time. I like this bleed effect too. That's really neat. Alright, so. Oh, you're just gonna die. <laughs> A solid blow. So we should be able to kill this. What was that? Is this from the curse? Oh, I think so. I think I got burned with the curse. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's gonna do that. <laughs> We need to get rid of him now, but my warlock seems like pretty good. What's going on? Um, okay, I'm on. Oh, this is burning ground. That's probably what that is. It's burning. Ground. good. Oh, and he just got four. Oh, I forgot about that rune. Like, how do I... How do I put that rune in? Um, I'll just go with the dex. So then I just learn from here. And then it gives me a card. Passive on round start. A random enemy with bleed takes 15 damage. Seems good. Seems very good. Free things are always good things. Ooh, and we're all healed up too? Did we heal up from going up a level? Or did we just heal up from... Oh, wait. I'm not ready. <laughs> what is this guy going to do? Frostbite. Deal 12 damage, apply 1 elemental. So is, I wonder if he's going to use both those cards. Probably. I'm assuming we got our SP back from Yeah, and since I got this the dexterity up, her guard her dodge guard went up a lot more. Okay, so that was to everybody. Oh, so he only he only this dragon only did
I like how this guy's going first now. I guess we definitely want him to be vulnerable. Yeah, he's taking big damage. I thought this doesn't. I thought this did like. Um, I thought this gained. Oh, you're just almost dead right now. Okay. All right, let's finish him off. Finish him off with the trap. Nice twist. Just going up in levels again. Renown, currency, relics. Augur is over this item allows you to augment an item. Hail Raker, legendary wand, requires dex, gains frostbolt. Chill stacks, you apply are increased by two. Mm, that seems good for my guy. Select a boon. Boons provide an instant bonus or last the duration of a realm. The duration of the next realm. Max supplies increased by three, gain no renown for completing this realm, gain double the renown you would have obtained on completing the next round. Gain a talisman. Uh, let's go with talisman. Primeval Bulbul. I love Bulbuls. We don't have any ranged. Primeval Bulbul. Primordial Trinket. Chaos Resist. Plus five initiative, plus one rank. I like this one. Seems good. So I think Realm 1 cleared. Pick the neck. Oh, this is where we're going. Length 11, like 9. Routes have higher chance of containing curses. We don't want that. Party has minus cold resist. Nodes have a chance to contain germination effects. Party has. Jeez. I guess I'm going to go here. <laughs> Seems bad, but the curses seem really bad. And I don't know what germination is, but that also sounds bad. That maybe I'll, maybe I'll go this way. I like I like the way this is set up, though. I like the way this is set up. Um, but that's gonna be my initial playthrough for this game. Let me know what you think down below. Please don't put any spoilers if you've already played the heck out of this game. Uh, leave a like if you want to see more for sure. Tell me what your favorite characters are. Like what characters are way better than others. Uh, just let me know down in the comment section. And I'm definitely going to be playing some more of this. I might just do like, a, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just going to do long streams or what I'm going to do. Or maybe like how to beat. I don't know. I'm definitely going to keep playing this game though. It seems really, really good. Uh, it would be funny to just do like online PvP, but I'll probably get blasted. So, uh, just let me know if you guys like this game, if you've played it, if you think you're gonna play it. What are your thoughts? What What are you doing? Um, let me know in the comment section. With that, that'll be my video, and I'm about to go on vacation, so I'll see you guys in a couple days. So